Hello, my name is Navid Nikayan and I'm a professor at Eurocom and also board member of Open Air Interface Software Alliance and leader of Mosaic 5G project group. Today we are happy to be part of MWC this year, introducing our FlexWeek ST-RAN platform, a flexible RAN intelligent controller. With my team, Mikhail and Robert at Eurocom and Open Air Interface Software Alliance, we are about to release FlexRig to the community. We would like to show you a few sample demos on its compatibility, service models, and features. FlexRig follows three design principles of 5G, which are first, flexibility necessary to adapt the controller to a wide range of services and deployment requirement. Second, ultra lean required to minimize the footprint of the STRAN platform and as a result, increase its sustainability. And third, forward compatibility to address a wide range of use cases, many of which are not yet defined or even identified. FlexRig is compliant with ORAN E2AP protocol and it is designed in the form of a software development kit, SDK, to build and compose a range of SD-RAN controllers, each specialized for one or multiple service, services and use cases. In the first demo, we show the compatibility of FlexRig E2 agent with the ORAN RIG. On the left side, we see a running RIG cluster with the various platform function. To see the interaction of our custom agent, we show the logs of the E2 manager that handles E2 connections of agent of an agent. We start a FlexRig test agent. We observe that our agent completes an E2 connection. This means the connection to the rig succeeded with an E2 setup response. The E2 manager also processes the messages and acknowledges the successful setup. Furthermore, we show an interaction of a rig X app with the agent. On the left, we deploy the X app. We use a modified Hello World X app with the corresponding service model on the top of Oran rig that will ping the agent through a control message. If there is an active subscription, the agent will reply the control message with an, ident with an indication message similar to a ping. After some time, the X app sends a subscription request. The agent receives and acknowledges the subscription request. The X app now continuously ping the agent. The ping are replied by the agent using indication messages and it can be seen on the bottom left every ping travels for roughly one millisecond. In summary, this example shows that FlexRig E2 interface is compatible with the ORAN RIG. Now we demonstrate the same Hello World example with a test controller that is built based on the FlexRig SDK, allowing to build a specialized controller following 5G principles. The SDK offers the flexibility to create a custom Hello World rig, which is ultra lean and does not require any superfluous platform functions. Therefore, it initializes instantly, including the embedded Hello World X app. We initialize the same agent as shown in the previous demo, which performs the E2 connection setup procedure. The rig acknowledges the E2 setup request. The internal app is informed about this new agent, allowing it to immediately start the subscription. In the following, this internal app pings the agent as in the previous ORAN X app example. Overall, this controller is much simpler to handle while preserving the exact same functionality as in the, in the one shown in the previous demo, but with much faster reaction time. Now let's move to another demo on FlexRig command line interface CLI as well as its pluggable service model frameworks using MAC and RLC monitoring service model. And then we visualize them using Grafana as a frontend. We see in the terminal that a 5G UE with an IP address 192.172.03 is connected to an OAI based 
5G base station in non-standalone deployment and that it is reachable via ping from the core network. We first start the Python interpreter in the left window, then we import the FlexRig module as RIG. Once initialization is done using the RIG init command line, we can observe in the Wireshark window that the available functions with the, within the E2 agent and in particular the run function number 142 which is associated to the MAC status monitoring. We therefore request for a report of the MAC monitoring run function. We can afterward see the E2 indication messages flowing from the agent to the rig in the Wireshark window. The packets are received by an internal application in the rig which then forwards them to InfluxDB from where Grafana queries the monitoring data and display it. We can see how the UE, RNTI and MAC monitoring statistics are constantly updated. Now we proceed to load a new service model using FlexRig plugging feature using rigload underscore sm with a service model name which in this case is librlc underscore sm.so. In this case the run function RLC monitoring associated with the number 143 is loaded and the data could be reported from it. As we can see, the data corresponding to the RLC sublayer statistics is now displayed in Grafana in the right window. Lastly, we remove both the MAC and RLC status associated with the service model numbers 142 and 143 issuing the command rig remove underscore service. It can be observed from the Wireshark window that a rig subscription delete request and response have been sent and subsequently all the service models are removed. This part of the demo showed FlexRig extendability through its plugin features. We also showed FlexRig CLI as a powerful interface to build a specialized controller and automate its operation. Finally, the Northman interface of FlexBig provides an easy to both monitor and control the underlying run function, but also to display the data fetched from the agent in a graphical way. Now we move on to another part of the demo where we demonstrate the FlexBig slicing service model and its API. The MAC scheduling is performed at two levels. Inter, which schedules the sources of a slice, and Intra, which schedules UE on a slice specific resources. This means that each slice has its own Intra scheduler and can customize it. An example of Inter a slice scheduler is shown in the slide in blue, which different assigned RVs, either on the time domain or in the frequency domain. FlexRig introduces a slicing configuration model as shown in the left side of the slide, which allows to specify the inter and intra scheduler separately for downlink and uplink together with their associated parameters. Currently, FlexRig supports four inter slice scheduler, namely static, NVS, SCN, and EDF, and three intra scheduler, namely round robin, proportional fair, and max throughput. Here, the OAI G node B is under the control of a FlexRig based controller, which is specialized toward the slicing with a custom service model for a simplified slice configuration. This controller has been containerized using Docker for ease of deployment. The controller start almost instantly. The A node B now running already in the background and we start the G node B on the right side. Open connection of the phone, the 5G logo shows in the top right corner of the phone's screen. We furthermore start the downlink transmission using iPerf. This UE uses 100% of resources. Then the controller uses a REST Northman interface to expose information of a base station. For example, 
We can see information about the cell, such as the radio access technology, the base station name, and the PLMN, the supported PLMN. Or even UE specific information, such as MAC statistics of the connected UE. Since we started an IPERF connection previously, statistics such as the aggregated number of PRB increases constantly in this window. Currently, there is no slicing configuration and thus this UE gets access to all the resources. We prepare the configuration for two slices with 50% share of resources. The UE is automatically associated to the first slice by default. After submitting this configuration, the UE is limited to 50% throughput compared to, to the previous case, which is also visible in the graph from the UE terminal. In the second step, we again change the slice configuration such that the phone receives 66% of the radio resources, which results in a slightly higher throughput as compared to the 50% of the resources, which is also visible in the UE terminal. In summary, this demo shows an integration of a 5G scenario with the with ORAN compatible RIG platform, FlexRIG. We also develop a custom service model to abstract the slicing of the radio resources and demonstrate a successful isolation and control of these radio resources and of course the perceived performance by the UE. The architecture of FlexRig SDK is shown in the figure on the left. We see that the SDK consists of an agent and server library that are reused across different internal application and com north one communication interfaces. Each can be specialized for one or multiple use cases or services. FlexRig agent is compliant with the E2AP protocol and thus it can be connected to any ORAN compliant RIG and it is already integrated with the OpenAir interface 5G stack. It also provides an extendable and pluggable service model together with the command line interface. Currently, FlexRig provides three main service models slicing control, traffic control, and monitoring. In addition, it supports ORAN, Hello World, and KPN service model. To discover more about Mosaic 5G project group and its platforms, follow the link or drop us an email at contact at openairinterface.org. Thanks for watching this video.